In this project, we designed and implemented a method for active light visual odometry. Our group members are Ke Sun, Xue Su Xiao, and Wei Kun Zhen. All the snake robots in our biorobotics lab are remote controlled by human. Our project should serve as the first step to implement future autonomous behavior using state estimation by visual autometry. The snake sensor is composed of a camera and a laser generator, which can generate a thousand image with laser beam in a single scan. Our project contains finding depths of each point on the laser beam, building three-dimensional map of cluttered environment, and registering local maps through revised ICP method. In our algorithm, we feed each individual image captured by the camera into the laser line stripper and get the rough position of the laser line. Then we do noise reduction. The refined laser line position is fed into the camera and laser model and we can solve the three-dimensional coordinates of all the points on the laser line. Combined with the joint angles, we can generate a local map. Feature points are extracted from the local map in order to find correspondence between different local maps. Finally, all local maps are registered to a global map and the motion of the snake robot is estimated. In order to do the 3D reconstruction, we define three different coordinate systems first. They are the word frame fixed in the center of the first joint angle, the camera frame and laser frame which are located at the camera and the laser center respectively. They are shown in black, red and green. All the points captured should locate in the camera frame C. For the camera, we can calibrate an intrinsic matrix, which is a mapping from the three-dimensional coordinates x, y, z inward to the 2D coordinates in the image plane U, V. The coordinates are up to scale, namely they are homogeneous. Based on this equation, we have two constraints, which is not enough to calculate the depth information of the point. This is where our laser generator comes into play. The laser generates a beam which intersects with the environment surface by a line, which is captured by the camera. So we can use homogeneous transformation to transform the coordinate from the camera frame to the laser frame. All these points should lie on the laser beam. We know the laser beam plane by calibration in advance. So the product of the laser beam pi and point coordinates should be zero. Combined with the first two constraints of the camera model, we can solve the 3D coordinates of every point on the laser line. After computing three-dimensional coordinates for each pixel on each laser line, we can generate the local map based on joint angle feedback. In order to find correspondence between different local maps, we extracted two different types of feature points, edge point and plane point. We implemented a moving window and do SVD on all the points in the window. As we can see in the upper right figure, edge feature points should be located in the window whose standard deviation is similar on two axes. However, However, for plane points, the first principal component should have much greater magnitude than the second one. The example of edge feature point for one single laser line and local map is shown here. Now we have multiple local maps and their corresponding feature points. So we should find correspondences between them in order to recover the motion between two consecutive maps. For edge points in the source feature point set, we find the two nearest neighbors in the reference feature point set and fit a line by them. We want to minimize the distance between the transform source point and the line, which is denoted as DE. For the plane points, we find the three nearest neighbors instead of two in order to fit a plane and minimize the distance dp, which is the distance between transform plane point and the plane. The cost function is built by concatenated de's and dp's. The input is the translation and the rotation along x, y, and z axis. We can derive the Jacobian matrix by taking the derivative of f with respect to t, and using Levenberg Marquardt method, we can do nonlinear optimization and get the optimal translation and the rotation for two consecutive local maps. The left figure is five consecutive local maps viewed from the first joint angle of the snake. After doing registration, we can align all the local maps into one global map. The frames on the right indicate the trace of the motion of the robot. This is a video demonstration of our project. The snake robot is scanning the environment using the snake sensor on its head module. This is a local map generated by a single scan. The blue dots represent the extracted feature points on the edge of this scan. 
Then the snake robot local modes to execute scanning at different poses. Multiple local maps are generated and described in their corresponding body frame. All the local maps are aligned and merged into one global map. Then we can do motion estimation by registering feature points.